All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is Saturday, and that means that we are using Labradar Bell, the Golden Bell deck. So, not sure if you guys have a notice of the the thumbnail, but for this deck and only this deck for the thumbnail, the letters for the I mean the letters, the numbers for what upset it, it's actually golden instead of that uh, the teal color, uh, just because I felt like the thumbnails kind of look from a distance, kind of look really similar to um. To, ah, uh, God, what is the name of that freaking, that cosmic bell? I felt like they were way too similar, so I was like, you know what? We're not going to have that. Well, this hand is actually really phenomenal. This hand would be crap without Dog Reffer, because I have Dog Reffer, it's really good. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with it, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and go, uh, I could go normal summon. No, because I don't, <sighs> discard. Special summon effect this card. Yeah, this hand's actually really good. That's not drawing that's not really good. Alright, I got those two graveyard. I could literally I could literally go for an Ultimaya right now. I, I really could. I could. But the question is do I want to do that? At first turn I really don't feel like I want to because all you have to do is just make a castell spin back my uh Excuse me. All you have to do is spin back my like my beals with Castell and run over my ultimate and bam done. So I generally like to go for first turn Leo. It seems like more of a, a play that I'm interested in. Go ahead and drop you bell. Yeah, and I'll just go ahead and summon Drag Guard. Drag Guard effect. Go ahead and summon you. And go ahead and go into Leo. There we go. Alright, I'm my turn. Here's turn Leo is actually kind of powerful. No complaints from a first turn Leo. No. Wait, I couldn't go for Altamaya. Wait. Could I? Yeah, I could have. Jump and Drag Guard, you summon you. Now I summon you. Set this. And with Altamaya. Yeah. Oh, Infinity. Mm hmm. Oh, well, I mean, as long as I have my Leo on the field, Infinity really can't do much to me. Unless he equips so many that he's actually be able to get over my attack, but... Facing... Facing Infinity with Leo is, you know, not bad, you know. He can't... can't target me. You know, but the last time I fought against this deck, they had Mirror Force. And Mirror Force has been going back up in popularity as of late, so... If I get fucked up by a Mirror Force, then fuck me. It's not like I can turn my Leo to defense because then he could just simply run over him, my Leo. Oh, there's that machine dupe. This card is so dumb. Like, you plus so hard. That's like Inferno Reckless Summon, except only for you. It's just like, alright. <laughs> I guess they're like, well, if it's 1200 attack or less, and you summon the same monster, it's fine. But then they did this, so you can summon the two Cyber Dragon, and it's just like, oh. Oh. <laughs> you really didn't think that one out, now did we? Like, no, not really. Pony here is taking forever at this place. The reason why I special summon the Drag Grapper is because not only do I want to get both of them in my hand, but I was also thinking about summoning, normal summoning the Drag Guard to make the Leo. You know, I think what, last time I fought this deck, he had both the Honest and the Mirror Force to fuck me up? Oh, he's just gonna quit. Like, alright. Alright. Ultimate Nightmare. Well, I said I didn't want to draw Tear, so shuffling it back, so. Shuffling it around so the next card won't be tear instead it's ultimate nightmare. I think that's totally fair. You know, it's it's just ah. What if the number generator was just for your ultimate hand and the rest of it was just randomized play even then, you know, they still try to put it on top, they still try to stack it like no 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 thank you. That's not what I want. I never want to draw you bell like that. But hey, that's what you want me to draw. Sounds awesome. Just normal summon Armageddon tonight. I said normal summon Armageddon. Hello? What the fuck is going on? Nothing's nothing's working. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? I think I think I think Deanna is like crashing. 
I think the end is crashing people. Yeah. Yep. It's not me. Uh, Alright, be right back. Alright, people. I apologize. The end went down. So, it's been like... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know uh, the difference in time. But anyway, we're just going to continue where we left off in this video. <laughs> wow. He's a donor. I mean, look at that picture. Like, he's like, uh, he's about to fuck me up with that picture. <laughs> uh, anyway, more live about you, though. Uh, I'd say it's not terrible. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. He has some interesting sleeves there. You know what? I'm going to play that, too. Just so I don't have to go into the deck twice. So I'm going to drop you Bell, and I'm going to drop, um, Labrador. Right. I don't have any spell card about cards, so no first turn Leo, sadly. But, you know, I got the Reverse, and I got Oasis, so not terrible. Pretty much expunged my entire hand, so I hope it was worth it. <laughs> oh, I hate drawing Ultimate Nightmare, but at least I had Dark Reffer to keep me covered. Alright, so what are you using? Set one, set two, set three, set four, set four and pass. Alright, well, if you're not planning on doing anything, then uh, neither am I, so. I guess I'll just have Dark Reffer attack you, and if you want to go ahead and hit him with background. Alright. I'm not going to play Silver Scar or anything along those lines right now. I'm just going to. Take the duel slow. 17 is not bad. Yeah. I'm intimidated by the back row, but I feel like I could I could do this. I could do this. Because since it seems like my opponent's not gonna pull any monsters right now, I totally don't mind poking you for 17. Just poke 17, 17, 17. You know, I want you to commit to something. Because Leo, there could be a bottomless down there, a solemn warning. Right now, I'm totally fine just poking with 17. If my, especially since my opponent took it and they didn't play like bottomless or, I mean, bottomless, or mere force or deep prison. Is it seriously lagging again? Look, Siri. Is it, is it seriously lagging? Because if it's lagging, that means that DM's going to crash again like it did in, you know, early in the video. I think it might be Dan. It might be Dan. Like I said, I think, I think it might be it. Might be DN. If DN keeps crashing, there's no going to be. I, the point is, I know what the thing is. I haven't even recorded DN to commentary yet. So how the fuck am I supposed to do that when it keeps crashing? Like DN, <sighs> niggas, niggas. I don't know. I mean, if you like do anything to your router and you like unplug your router, doesn't that mean you just lose internet connection? I mean, maybe you have some way of adjusting your router without, you know, disconnecting yourself. But seriously, Dion is just being the butts lately. Just today, the day that I had to record things, it's the day that it decides to be the butts. Like, come on. I Man, I guess you can't complain because I guess, you know, it is free. But seriously, like... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it. Alright, my opponent is back. He activated Reckless. Drew two. Alright. So I hope you drew into something that will allow you to get over Dark Griffin and start so on some plays. Like I said, 17 is nothing to scoff at. And, you know, it's not 18. Definitely 18 is stronger. You know, I always hated that. And some Dark Griffin and I get my ass ran over by a shadow. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> Another Reckless. Alright. Stacking them Recklesses. Like this is such a powerful card at a, and anything higher than one. 
Reckless is one of those cards that should be limited and stay limited. You know, in a sense, it's kind of like a pot of greed. Like, if you use it correctly. Alright. You're reckless twice, so. Like, what's up? What's going on? I would love to, you know, pitch Mally, but. I can't even activate. If I activate effects. Well, if I activate effects, the only thing you can do is, you know, Phoenix chain me, which you could already do if I was going to attack him. He's going to break through skill. He's not going to get me anyway. Now I got to hold on? Oh, wait. Never mind. I accidentally scrolled out. <laughs> I had to put hold on. I'm like, wait. Alright, well, everybody's in the graveyard. Except for Terror and the Weeder, so I'll go ahead and send the Weeder. So now I have access to my, uh... My one place. Oh, you're just setting cards. You're not playing any monsters. Like, are you using something sacky? Like, what's up? What's going on? Alright. Oh. Okay. Alright, volcanics. Well, I'm definitely gonna get fucked up. Okay, he's done at the end of my main phase one. Yeah. He doesn't need to draw with his draw phase because he can just draw with his uh, blaze accelerator. So I'm probably going to get fucked. You know, all he needs is a rocket. And then I'm probably going to lose because at this point he probably has so much back row that uh, I'm probably just going to straight up lose. Mm-hmm. Alright, you paid the 500. Alright, go ahead and get your show. Oh my god, man, your computer is fucking... You know, if I had more than one card in my hand, I would try to, you know, shuffle my hand. I don't even think I can... No, I can't even be able to say it. Can I even shuffle <laughs> with only one card? Like, uh, uh, you don't know what card I have. <laughs> it already begins. He's already up on research. Like, Reckless is so good, because, yeah, sure, you don't... You draw for your next turn, but especially stack. Like, he literally drew four cards for the sacrifice of two draw phases. Like, if that's not fucking pot of greed, like, come on. Like, Reckless shouldn't be at anything higher than one. At one, it's an even card. And anything higher than one, where they stack on top of each other like that, that's when it gets dumb, but, you know. <sighs> at this point, he could probably fuck me up. I'm surprised he hasn't fucked me up already. Just summon a, just summon a rocket. I'm not trying to push or overextend or do any of those things because I'm definitely, definitely down on resources. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. Get yourself another shell. You know, you're you're a tier two deck. Me on the other hand, I'm like fucking tier sixty-four. <laughs> like shit. So. Look how much up resources you are. Like, oh my gosh. I know you got something. You know, even Leo at this point wouldn't be too hot. Wow. I'm still not doing anything. Yeah, you're really, you're really surprising me by the fact that you have nothing. I'm just gonna keep poking you. Like this. Go ahead. Gonna go use Blaze Accelerator. No? Okay. Which is Basin. Uh, I'm gonna chain. MST chain vanities, alright. Of course. So much vanities lately.
Why is Vanity's at three? Why is Reckless at three? Why is Skilldren at three? Why is Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! That's, that's a good question, Daniel. I must say, that, that, is, that is the million dollar question right there. Some things in Yu-Gi-Oh! just don't make any sense. Yeah, but hey, I'm not Konami, am I? There's no way I'm going to get away with beating him with Dark Raffer. I know he has something. He just doesn't want to use it, I guess. That's six cards at hand. Like, come on. Fire hand. Even even crashing with uh, with uh, Royal Guard isn't terrible. At this point, you only have two. All right. Well, you can still go Blaze Accelerator, send the last shell, draw a card. So, that's three. Um, I'm starting to get used to, you know, volcanics. Mm-hmm. Hit scatter shot, draw a card, scatter shot effect, send more. Mm-hmm. Can I chain? Yeah, I'm trying to think. He goes, send scatter shot. All right, hold on. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Uh, uh, chain to scatter. Scatter shot. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's take the 1500. I have a feeling I kind of missed timing with the whole inflict the damage, so I don't, I don't even want to try it. So now it's time to summon the Royal, because Royal can go ahead and return you all your scatter shots and one of your shells. So, and plus you. At this point, I'm so down on resources, it's not even funny. Like, I know, I, at this point, you drew, you drew into everything. The van, the other, the other two vanities, more back row, more, every, like, look, look, you're down to 22, I'm, I'm down to 29, like, and, and, and counting, like, with you, because you can still go more plus. Especially since I don't run any back row in this deck, like, the chances of me winning this duel, even though I brought his life points down to 1900, are still slim to none. Because he's going to out-resource me, it doesn't matter about life points, it matters about resources. You know, this man could be at 100 life points left because the only thing can a prevent me from making a cowboy and keep me locked down with back row. He he can he can easily turn this duel around and win. So he's already up on resources. Yeah, all he has to do is summon the royal, return all them back to the deck, draw two, set more back row. Every time I play something, negate me with back row, and then that would be pretty much it. I'd run out of resources. I'd be out of no I'd be to nothing. At this point, he has this duel. Despite me, you know, poking him with Dark Reffer, he has this duel. It sucks. It sucks. Alright. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you got this. Mm-hmm. You're a tier 2 deck, and I'm a tier nothing deck. Look at that. It's so up on resources that there's no way I can keep up. Yeah, one of those one of those cards that he drew, one of those cards that he has face down, is still a vanity's emptiness, so... Vanities? Yep, there it is. You know what? Even if I... See, another Vanities. Like, Vanities at 3 is just too much. Not really. GG, not really. 
Not really. Vanities is a bitch. I said, Vanities is at three. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it, it's the meta protector. It's the it's the card that protect. No, no. It says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Pretty much. Oh, cause I'm the meta. So Vanities has to be at three to protect my opponent from me. No, no, no. Vanities just says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. No matter what. Like it, it's a stupid card. It's a fucking retarded card. It should not even exist. But hey, I don't. I'll make this fucking game. Uh, I'm tired of Vanities. I'm tired of Vanities. I'm tired of Snatch Deal. I'm tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call up so. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed me just getting fucking locked down by Vanity. It's fun, huh? Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with you, Bones Actors. All right, people. Thanks for watching.